All right, uh, thought we'd do something a little bit nice and simple, but a killer fly, one of my favorites, and one that's working really well in rivers today, elk hair caddis. Classic, and I like it, it's a simple tie. I got a um, size 14 Anrex, what is it, an FW500, so dry fly hook, good, solid, I'm not gonna worry about losing fish with it, but it's not too heavy, so nice all rounder. Um, Bit of grey thread, just gonna bind that one on. Start through and just go through basically to the end of the straight or end of the shank of the hook, which lines up with the barb down the bottom. All right, bang through to there. Try off our little tail. All right, hackle. Let's get the right end. Just strip back just a little so we've got a nice little butt we can tie in nicely. That's it. Kick down under. Come on. Get on there. There we go. Adjust him in. And just bind him on. All right. It's set, it's nice and stable. Dubbing, we've got nice, fine, dry dubbing. This is a yellow. The advantage on this one is it, I can get it really fine on the thread. You don't want a big, thick body, just a nice, fine dubbing base, a little bit of color. Tuck him up that little bit. Oh, we'll see how we go on that. Wind back and bring it through. I'll be just short of the eye. Don't want to go all the way. A little bit extra there. You can come off. All right, comfortable. Wrap, nice full wrap. Just be careful of the, the point on the hook. That can make things come undone the big way. And just space wraps all the way up to the end of that dubbing. But still firm, you want it to bed down into the dubbing. You don't want it too loose, you don't want it to slip. Then holding that up, a couple of locking bits over. And we'll trim him up. Look at this little knife, fine point, really sharp. Advantage is I can just go nick, and all it does is cut through the stem of that hackle feather. It doesn't cut the fibers. So it's nice set. Elk hair next. Nice bleached elk hair. Good clump of that. I don't like a sparse one. I'll, I'll wing on these. I like a good wing so I can, when it's treated, it's gonna float. And also, a lot of the time I fish these as a skater. So they're not just a static drift. All right. So we've got a good little clump there. Then we've got all that under fur. So strip it out. Any of those extra little hairs that aren't needed. Front and back. You can use a comb. Oh, I've got a, um, Bit of Velcro stuck in a pen, it's had a fair bit of use, but it's nice. Just give them a comb through, just takes the excess out. Other end, and into our stacker. That's pretty well set. Before I go any further, the advantage I'd like to do on this is I've got some head cement, fairly thick one, but I put a little dollop right on first before I put the elk hair in. And I put the base of that down and it squeezes up into a little bit 
bit too much there. Up through the elk here and sets it nicely. So I don't have to worry about adding any more afterwards. Always whack the lid back on. You've upended one of those across a good table or that, you'll understand why. Okay, our ends here, nice, level. Grab those. Bring it up, measure it up against the fly. I'm pretty happy with about that. That pinch there, bring down, and just a couple of loose wraps up over first. Then holding firmly still, Apply the pressure on that thread and lock it down. A couple more wraps. All right, and happy with that. Then I'll bring these fibers back. And I'll get a, another wrap in there. I'll bring a few more back. Another wrap in there. And a couple more back, another wrap in there, and I'll bring them all back. And just wind that thread up a little, come here, you, and then just a couple of wraps around the hook. So now I can actually pull down on that thread and it's not pulling to try and pull that wing back and around. Bring all those little butt sections together, hold them up tight, and trim off. It's on the angle of the eye of the hook, nice and tight, bang. Get rid of those, and yeah. Have a little look, pretty happy with that. So, done a couple of wraps around there already. So now it's just a matter of whip finish. Get in there. To go on, Mr. Thread, we won't do that. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Tie him through, pull him up. Bit of pressure on that thread, come in with that blade and nips off. Once again, I haven't cut any of the hackles. Yeah, nice, simple, elk hair caddis, ready to go. Cheers.